In this video tutorial, we will learn to use model check to delete parameter by two check items. One is extra params and another is param unwanted. Before we begin, to avoid the restriction of not having right access to the model check configuration file. It is recommended to copy the model check configuration files from the Creo load point, common files, modch, text, Yosiski directory to a custom path. And set the config.pro option model check dir to this path. Then, let's first demonstrate how to use extra param to keep the required parameters and remove the unwanted ones. We could click File, Options, Environment, Model Check Settings to open the Model Check Configuration tool. First step, we create a check file with check item extra params. Check the box in front of this option, and set interact mode to E. Click save as, and type a name. Collapse and expand check file group, we could see the new check file at here. Second step, we need to create a start file. Right click in a blank area, and select add row. Then, Select this blank line with the left mouse button and we can see the following add item button is activated. Now, we can define the parameters we want to keep. Select item type as part, we may select type as assembly or drawing if we want to add parameter into assembly or drawing type. Select type of start item as parameter. Enter the name of the parameter to be kept. Please note that the parameters entered here are the ones that need to be kept, while those that are not listed will be deleted. Click add item to add a row in start file. Click save as, and type a name. Collapse and expand start file group, we could see the new start file at here. Third step, we should define the conditional setting. Expand conditional settings group and select edit condition.mcc. Change the check file and start file with the previous saved files. Model check configuration is completed, click OK to close the model check configuration tool. Let's see the sample model, it has three user defined parameters, param1, param2, param3. Then, we could click file, prepare. Model check interactive, to run model check. We could see the check result in the model check report dialog, param2 and param3 are reported as error because they are not list in the start file. Check select all option and click cross icon to delete param2 and param3. After that, rerun the model check, there is no error at all. If we want to delete the parameters by automatically, we could enable the model update options. To enable it, we should access to model check configuration tool. Expand initialization settings group and select edit config init.mc. Change the mu enabled to y. Please note that modifying the initialization settings of model check is only valid after restarting Creo. Now, we have relaunched Creo. There are three user defined parameters in the sample model. Then we run the model check interactive. We could see the param1 and param2 to be deleted by automatically. In the next section, we will demonstrate how to remove unwanted parameters with param unwanted. The operation of configuring model check is the same as before.
The difference is that the item in the check file should be param unwanted. And the type of start item in the start file is unwanted parameters. Please note that, as opposed to the previous section, the parameters listed in this start file are the ones to be deleted, not the ones to be kept. After the configuration is complete, click File, Prepare, Model Check Interactive, to run Model Check. We could see the check result in the Model Check Report dialog, Param 1 has been deleted as well. Please be aware that Param Unwanted is not supported for Model Check Batch Mode. If we need delete parameter in Batch Mode, we should use extra params in Check File. 